Hey guys, it's Robin and today we're going to be making breakfast together. I realize it's been a while since I've posted a recipe so I thought let's start this Sunday morning together. We're gonna make something that's both low glycemic and includes carbohydrates. Um, that's my favorite half and half porridge. I've talked about this in the past but today we're gonna make a different recipe. We're gonna make chocolate half and half porridge with half oats and half cauliflower rice. The reason I like to make this is the cauliflower adds prebiotic fibers that are good for our gut lining and that also help to slow the glycemic impact of the oats. Now, oats are a really healthy, slow digesting source of carbohydrates, so if this cauliflower half and half porridge idea sounds repulsive to you, I promise it's actually really good. Um, but if it doesn't sound good, make this whole thing with just oats and you're also off to a great start in the morning. Cauliflower and cruciferous vegetables are so healthy for a number of reasons. They contain sulforaphanes, which are great for our brain health. Um, I think I should make actually a whole video devoted to cruciferous vegetables, but cauliflower, so easy to incorporate in your breakfast and is really good for your brain and gut health. So let's get into the breakfast. What you're gonna need, oats, cauliflower rice, and we literally just do half and half. You can also do less than half. Play around with the proportions. You can do three-fourths oats and one-fourth cauliflower. So once you have your oats and cauliflower mixture, we're just gonna cook it up on the stove top. I like this frozen cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's because it's already pre-cooked, so it makes the cooking time really a lot faster than if you use raw cauliflower rice. I like to add salt, cinnamon. You can also add vanilla stevia or honey if you want it a little bit sweeter. You can also cook it with a banana to add sweetness. Um, this will usually be done cooking between five to 10 minutes. Next step is we're gonna add the cocoa powder. I love chocolate, so I just always do heaps, heaps, heaps of cocoa powder. It's so good for you. And I find it's very satisfying and rich. So many antioxidants. Because I'm impatient, I love to use frozen berries. This helps to cool down the porridge so I can eat it more quickly. <laughs> Instant gratification. Um, but I also just like kind of frozen berry chunks. I don't know, if that doesn't appeal to you, just cook in the berries. Figure out what you like. I know I don't have to say that, but um, you know, just experiment. That's the fun part about healthy cooking is the experimentation. So once in, I mix in the frozen berries, it's also time to add my source of protein. I'm adding this gym and tonic collagen and hemp protein mixture today. I really like this one because it doesn't really have a taste. That's not something uh, you can usually say about protein powders, uh, but other options of protein powders are pea protein, rice protein, marine collagen, whey protein, whatever your protein preference add it in. Proteins are not only important for building up our body and how we repair a lot of our cells and muscles, but it's also great at keeping us full and balancing the blood sugar impact of our meal. So always add protein to breakfast. Once this is nice and stirred up, I like to get to the goodies, which is the toppings. So I'm gonna add cashew butter today. I love cashew butter because it has more natural sugars than other nut butters like almond butter, which gives it that natural sweetness. I haven't added any sugar to this, so I enjoy that little mm. In addition to cashew butter, I'm adding some dark chocolate chunks. These are actually chocolate chips from Trader Joe's that are 100% chocolate. For some people, this might be too bitter and not sweet enough, in which case I would say uh, you can add some, some semi-sweet, bitter, dark chocolate chips. It just adds a nice decadence. Um, and drizzle with honey, add stevia, add bananas, berries, whatever you fancy. The toppings are the fun part. And this is just a super healthy Sunday breakfast. And you can play around with it if you don't like chocolate try a different variety, add cinnamon, add apples. The possibilities are endless. I just wanted to share another half and half protein porridge recipe because this is one of my go-tos of a healthy way to start the day with slow digesting carbs and lots of goodies in the cauliflower as well. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys.